Genome Unlocking Life's Code is located at the Smithsonian's National Museum of Natural History. It's about understanding what a genome is and how important uh, the information that we're gathering from it is to our everyday lives and understanding the world around us. Learning about this gets us to understand a lot more about how we can make better decisions of our health care, uh, learn more about our own ancestry which can help inform our identity, and also how we interact with the environment. And one way we thought that the visitors would be able to engage more is by presenting personal stories. And throughout the whole exhibit we present these personal stories through the media interactives and also on the, the rails that you see. And so you get to learn more about people who have had battles with breast cancer and how genomics has helped them with their treatments, learning more about the rare medical mysteries and how we're trying to diagnose people through genomics. And so really this is a topic that everyone can engage with and we hope that people find connections. The genome exhibition is around 4,400 square feet. And within that space there's around 3,000 square foot traveling exhibition that will be touring around North America for four years after it's at the Smithsonian. There are three content areas in the genome exhibition. One, the genome within, really looks at an introduction, a toolkit to genomics and the technology that is coming about and telling us more about the genome. We also look at uh, health, looking at your genome and also the next gen medicine that's coming through because of using this technology. And also connections to our own ancestry and to the natural world. The National Institutes of Health and the Smithsonian worked together hand in hand over the last year and a half to come together to create an exhibition about genomics and this partnership has been successful for both agencies and really learning what each agency does and presenting it to the public in a way that really is meaningful to them. 2013 is a fantastic year to open the genome exhibition. It marks the 10th anniversary of the human draft genome being sequenced and also the 60th anniversary of the Watson and Crick publication of the double helix structure of DNA. So it was a really great time for us to get this information out there to the public. The genome is so tiny, but it carries so much information that we are just learning about, or starting to learn about. And so look in the next 10, 20 years about your genome and talk to medical professionals about how this tool can be helpful for understanding yourself and your family's health as well. Uh, and look for the research that's out there and you know, start using this as a tool in your everyday life.